All right, everyone, this is the Wigmeister, and welcome back to Medieval. Now, where we left off, we got the Chalice of Souls, and now I have to make my way to the end of the level to get to the Hall of Heroes. But I'm sure there's plenty of zombies on the way. I've got half health, so I really need to look for some more health. Ah! Oh, oh, oh dear. I'm being ambushed by zombies! Bad zombies. Oh, cool, you can break... You can destroy gravestones, nice. And here is another life bottle. You really need to get them as much as possible. That it is imperative to get life bottles. You will need them as the game goes along. It will get harder. So for now, it's treasure chests. I see if I can. Can I? Yeah. I've got the high ground here, so well, use that to my advantage. Come on. There we go. Okay. Cool. Oh dear, I'm being ambushed again by zombies. These zombies are horrible. This game, when it was when it was out for the PS1, was so underrated. It deserved so much more attention and so much more reputation. Well, let's go shopping. Whoa, that is a creepy-looking gargoyle. Well, here you can buy supplies, weapons, and whatnot, and uh, recharge certain items. For now, I can only buy throwing daggers, so let's get them. Come on, I want to fill that up to the top. Inventory is full. Cool. Well, I've got the more daggers. What's it doing? It's basically eating the money, I think. Oh well. Let's keep going. Oh, more zombies. Ugh. Ah! These zombies are disgusting. Go away! Ah, go and eat some other one else's brains! Let's heal up up here. Okay. Oh dear, more zombies! Ah, those creepy yellow eyes are not good. Ay, ay, ay. Go away! I'm nothing but bones, you don't want to eat me. Oh, well, I'll open the chest, but what does this say? Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> oh dear. If, in case you didn't understand, it means you can't go swimming. You can walk on shallow water, but you can't go in the deep end. Another shield. Of course, over time, if, when you use your shield, how do you use your shield? Now ah, that's how you use your shield. Okay, over time, uh, your shield goes through wear and tear, but you can, and it will eventually break away. You can get more shields as you go along. I don't want to go in there. Okay. Hey, oh, a gargoyle. What do you have to say? Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Oh dear. Well, this is the end of the level. This green vapor trail is the end of the level. And up there is the mausoleum. But first... We go to the Hall of Heroes, because we have collected a chalice. Here we can collect a new weapon. Don't remember being two gargoyles. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. Yep, that's what we want. And what is this? Oh, the shopping goods. Okay, there's stuff right there as well. well. I don't need to at the moment. Oh, sound effects are brilliant. To homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Very good. In case you didn't understand. We have to talk to the statues, basically. All right, let's speak. Hey, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? 
How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I go. used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> oh, goodbye, sir. <laughs> and with that, we've got our crossbow. It's a stronger ranged weapon. That is the total amount of chalices we have. Oh, just the one there. I think that is it, right there. You could have a look around here. There's lots of different people to speak to. Well, different statues to speak to. Down there. Statue of me. Well, that's Sir Daniel Fortescue. Not filled up. Looks... Transparent. Of course. You get all the chalices. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that actually becomes solid. See, there are ghostly stairs as well, also transparent. You can go upstairs at some point, but you're going to collect more chalices as you go along. There's nothing else going to do here. It's time to exit. Back through that portal, I think. Yep, leave the Hall of Heroes. Yes, because we must progress. Medieval. <laughs> okay. And, of course... More of it is now available. So, let's go straight forwards. To the Cemetery Hill. Okay. Spooky and enjoyable. I'm really loving this game so far. Brings back memories, it really does. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Those eyes are creepy. Oh, more zombies. And is that lava down there? Oh, Zarok. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> From sounds of it, they recycled all the voices from the original game. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay, that looks creepy. And they're regurgitating balls of fire. And normal boulders. Okay. Let's get these guys out of the way. Yep. Slightly powerful, well, more powerful than the throwing daggers. But useful nonetheless. What's this? Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. Okay, well, that tells me there's a club around here somewhere. And clubs definitely are important. All right. Oh. I could use a ranged weapon. So kill the enemies from afar, which is very handy. But, I'm going to stick with the sword for now to save those arrows. Come on, come on. Ay, ay, ay. What is... is that... can I get in there? There we are. Yeah, we can break the gravestones, which is really handy. What is this? Of great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. There's a boulder there. Well, it said something about a club. Maybe a club can break it, if memory serves. Well, let's have a look around. Still plenty to see here. Uh-oh. Whoa! What was that? That was an explosion. It was like dynamite. Yeah. Very nice. Good work so far. Now that is an energy vial. That basically gives you a great abundance of health. Also refills some of your life bottles, if you uh, have used that up, that is. Ah. Okay, yeah, let's buy some crossbow bolts. 
Yeah, it's gone straight in his mouth. I thought so. Yeah, and he's eating my money. <laughs> Sounds like almost any corrupt politician practically eats the money. There's a club around here somewhere, but... Hmm. Is there any way to break it? Ah! There's supposed to be a club around here somewhere? I thought there was. It was in the original game. Maybe I missed something. Let's have a proper look around. I can't break that with a sword, can't I? No. Didn't think so. Okay. That's okay, though. Still experimenting. Ah. Right. Well, right, let's just just continue reading. What did These I say? Bones are going to crush your bones if you aren't careful. I hope you have a good shield equipped. Remember that each hit on your shield will chip away at its durability. Eh, better it than you, though. Yeah, that's just explaining how to use your shield, of course. Must be a way. Okay, well, let's avoid the lava, of course, and we've got to use our shield properly. Okay, let's go. Oh, get up here. Whoa. Ah, that must have hurt. Aha, we use that shield. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Die, 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 die. What was that? Whoa, that was disturbing. Very disturbing. The club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it, burn with it, but beware, one bash too many, and it will break. From the chest, and there is our club. Now we can smash through certain boulders, like this. Ha-da! Oh yes, that is a strong club. But as you can see there, the percentage is going down, so like the shield, it goes through wear and tear. Now, I'm sure we can break this thing. Oh, yes. Let's go inside. Oh, gargo. <laughs> ah, fresh air. We hate these dark old caves and their filthy stench of old witches. A coven of the warty old hags lived here once. Unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. Wow. What a great way to talk about witches. Well, I think I'll stop it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment in the section down below, and smash that like button. And um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is the Wigmeister, signing off. Have a good one.